In this video, I'm going to be reviewing and setting up the Keurig K Compact coffee machine. So let's get started. The Keurig K Compact measures at 13.2 inches in depth, 8.2 inches in width, 12.5 inches in height. Open the lid and it measures at 16.3 inches high. The drip tray is not height adjustable, but it is removable and it lets you use a tall mug or a travel mug up to 7 inches tall. It comes with a 36 ounce water reservoir and at the back here you'll see these two little grooves and you'll just attach the water reservoir by sliding it onto these two making it nice and snug against the machine. So the Keurig K Compact comes with a short wide designed water reservoir so if you don't have or use filtered water, then you're going to want to buy the short handle water filter kit. The newer models use the tall handle, which fit in the slim and tall water reservoirs like this one here, which is from the K-Slim. So for the K-Compact, just remember to buy the short handle, otherwise you won't be able to fit it in. Inside the kit you'll see the filter cartridge so you're going to soak that for five minutes. While that's soaking I'm going to rinse out the water reservoir and I'm also going to rinse out the short handle. Once the filter cartridge has been soaking for five minutes then you're going to rinse it for one more minute. To open the short handle you're going to press here at the bottom by pinching it in and sliding the bottom out and then you'll be able to put in the filter cartridge meeting the flat sides together and then attach the top until it clicks in and then attach the short handle into the water reservoir until it clicks in and then fill up the water reservoir and then attach it to the coffee machine okay let's plug it in and uh, let's put a jug underneath it because the first thing we're going to do is a cleaning brew switch on the coffee machine and it'll take about four minutes for it to heat up. And there are three sizes to choose from, a 10 ounce, an eight ounce, and a six ounce. Once the machine is heated, lift and lower the lid without inserting a pod. Press the smallest cup size, and the lights will flash, and then you can press the smallest size to do a cleansing brew, or you can just pick any of the other sizes as well. Once the cleansing brew is done, you can throw out the water and um, I'm just going to show you my add water light has turned on here so I need to fill some more water into the water reservoir. Okay, now I'm ready to brew my coffee so I'll add in my pod, select my cup size, I'll just select the 6 ounce and it should start to brew. And it took about 33 seconds to brew a 6 ounce. Let's check the temperature. And it's showing 168, 169. So not really hot at all. And let's take a look at the splash zone here. Let's look at the back of the machine. And there are quite a few splashes on the back. Um, not too much, but uh, a little. And I don't see anything on the counter. I've also used hot chocolate pods uh, and I brewed an 8 ounce but uh, I think it was way too diluted so a 6 ounce is much better and if I test the temperature again it's at 169 and also because I used a taller mug there's less splashes on the back so maybe using a taller mug will prevent uh, less splashing. Next I'll show you how to use the My K Cup reusable coffee filter. So at the bottom here you have this grey piece and you don't need to use it for this K-Compact model so you can just remove that and leave it aside because it's to be used with the older 2.0 Keurig models. And then at the top here you'll see a lock and an unlock symbol so there's a little dot here. Turn it clockwise to the unlock sign and then pull out the grey mesh basket. On the lid you'll see this removable red plug and you'll need to keep this in when using it with the K-Compact model. Because this model has just the one needle, if I just show you underneath here, under the lid, you'll see that it just has a single needle entry point. 
So this needle will go into the center hole right here. And these additional four holes are to be used with the Keurig K Supreme models because they have the multi-stream technology which uses five needles. So for all the other Keurig models that have just the one single needle, you'll need to use this red plug to cover all the four holes to prevent it splashing out. Okay, next you're going to add your ground coffee to the grey mesh basket and then pop the lid on and press it down all the way around until it's nice and secure. And then insert it into the black holder, lining it up with the unlock symbol and then turn it counterclockwise to lock it. Next, before we add this to the coffee machine, we need to take out the pod holder. So right underneath here where the pod holder sits, you're going to push it from underneath and then it should pop up from the top and then you'll be able to slide it out from the top. And now you can insert the My K Cup reusable filter with the arrow closest to and facing towards the back. And I'm just going to brew another six ounce cup of coffee here. And once you're all done, once the reusable coffee filter has cooled down, uh, you can throw out the coffee, otherwise if you leave it in there, it's just going to get hard. So empty it out as soon as you can. And then if you do decide to use K-Pods again, then just insert the pod holder back in. The K-Compact has an auto shutter feature of two hours, or you can manually turn off the power button. Alright guys, I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment, and I hope to catch you in my next video.